Well, moms uh, could now be in the Chicago public school system. That's right. That after a suspected diagnosis on the north side. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now with the latest. Hi, Mike. Hi. Letters have been sent home to parents informing them that a student in the school may have contracted the virus. At Pierce Elementary in Andersonville, the talk in the hallways is of mumps. It's like a severe disease. And one student at the school has possibly been diagnosed. But like I heard that it's a really bad disease and that even if you have vaccinations, you might get it. Parent Yolanda Sosa actually became sick with mumps as a child and told her daughter about the experience. I couldn't swallow. I had to stay home from school and it, and it was very painful. So it's not something that I would wish upon anybody. While the single potential case here at Pierce has not yet been positively diagnosed in Barrington, they're dealing with an actual outbreak. That's because three students have been diagnosed with the disease and at least 27 others in the northwestern suburb are suspected of having mumps. Still, parents at Pierce are cautiously optimistic. Well, I'm concerned, but it's not uh, been identified as a case, so we're still sending our daughter to school. Jason Mortensen's children, like most kids in Chicago public schools, are vaccinated. Vaccination works best when everybody does it. Um, and if, if not everyone participates, then you, you have these potential breaches in the safety of the system. And so, yeah, it's, it's still a concern. That's why he and other parents say they'll be vigilant. We do know that one of the cases in Barrington did involve a child who was vaccinated. That's interesting. I didn't know. But uh, we'll just keep an eye out. We've been told what symptoms to look for, and we'll seek medical treatment if we have to. The mumps vaccine is required in the Chicago public school system, but exceptions are made for specific reasons, including allergies and, in some cases, religious objections. Reporting in the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Marissa, Lionel? All right, hopefully they get that under control very soon. Mike, thank you.